I'm Kev Kelso Robert, and I'm here with the legendary DJ Paul of 3-6 Mafia. What's happening? It's summer camp, the 20th anniversary. I yeah. love summer camp. Yeah, I got a few questions for the man. So, you've been here twice now, and uh -huh. do you have a favorite moment? Like, you know, favorite set, favorite experience, favorite, you know, action, I mean. But. I, I'll tell you my favorite moment was uh, when Cherub was uh, DJing. And uh, I was basically standing on the bar doing my thing. Oh, right over in here, right? The right there. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, right there yeah. behind him. Shout out to Cherub, man. Shout out to Cherub. Cherub introduced me to uh, Summer Camp, you know. Nice. They couldn't be here tonight, unfortunately, but uh, I would say that that was my most exciting moment of it. So, on the chair, how did you how did you link with those guys? I mean, like how, how did how did uh, I know you got a track? With Tennessee, with Tennessee guys. So did you like did they hit you up like hey we need we need tracks or did you just got like you know link in a you know organic? Man, we just organically just linked up. Right. Right. So. Okay, well, you're here at a, you know, this is a jam festival. Alfred's McGee and Mo. You, you do, you know, pop festivals, hip hop festivals. How's it feel like, you know, the variation of some, a place like this where it's a little bit more rock, uh, jam rock and more EDM compared to. I like, know, I like, I like it because um, I like being at um, at festivals like this where they cater to everybody. I'm sure as a producer you can you know, appreciate that. Of course. So all that, you know, this this sort of exposure stuff. You ever thought I mean I'm sorry if you have already, but have you ever thought about doing like a full on rock album, whether that means just in the studio or it's like It's funny you brought that band? up. I I'm, I'm in the, I'm in I'm in the middle of a rock album. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more about it. If you can, if you can. I can. I, basically, I'm in the middle of doing the rock album, and it's hard as fuck. And you're going to love that motherfucker. Is it a studio? A lot of bands bring people bringing stuff in? Or how, how are you working that? I'm doing it. It's, it's Basically, it's me and Yellow Wolf is on some projects. He wrote some stuff for yeah. me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, and um, Shooter Jennings. Oh. Shout out to Shooter oh. Jennings. Shooter Jennings is oh. producing it with me. The legendary bloodline. Yeah, so like, yeah, it's a Tennessee thing. Okay. Okay, I appreciate that. So, this is a little bit random. I've been asking most of the people here. Do you got an NBA Finals pick this year? We got the Lakers, the Nets, the Bucks. You got any input on that? Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis Grizzlies. Of course. He's a, the home, hometown, rooting for the hometown. Okay. Last one. This is, this, you know, the thought, the one I mentioned before. What you've had all these class I mean I, I remember listening to Where's the Blood, Late Night Tip, those things, and then the progression to where you're hitting stay fly and you know the mainstream audiences. How do you make but what like what's the key component making something timeless that lasts for this amount of time where you have the pet most packed set in this entire music festival in a genre that isn't you know isn't even specified and yet you still pack the place. Yeah, we were just, we was before our time. It was before our time and we just, you know, people hated our music at first. You know, they thought that we was crazy because we, we, we rapped about, you know, beating people up and robbing people and doing cocaine and what all of this crazy stuff. Yeah, what you knew. Yeah, yeah what we knew. Right. And uh, they liked it and you know, it just, it was before it's time and you know that's what it was. that's what it is. We rapped about what we knew about, what we did, you know, and that's what happened. So And it worked. Basically what you're saying then, you know, the key is to be be yourself. The key is to be yourself and keep it one hundred across the board. Yeah. I, I really appreciate your time, Paul, DJ Paul. This 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 man is a legend, like like for real. Like I was I, was, I appreciate your time very much. Summer Camp, Academy Award winner, man, legend, Summer Camp's go the best, man. Memphis. Summer Camp's the best. If you've never been to Summer Camp, you're missing out on life. Make sure you come to Summer Camp and run it. Yup.